Anita Earls is the founder of the Southern Coalition for Social Justice in North Carolina. The Southern Coalition for Social Justice was founded in 2007. The vision was to bring together communities across the South to work for their view of what justice is. I founded the Southern Coalition for Social Justice to protect our civil rights, to fight for those who too often did not have a voice and who were in danger of being left behind because the system is rigged against them. I've worked on redistricting litigation since the late 1980s. We have, have brought lawsuit after lawsuit for the right of everyone to have an equal vote. We also won a partisan gerrymandering case about North Carolina's congressional districts. Over the 30 years that I've been doing this work, there is a lot more understanding amongst voters about what redistricting is, why it matters, and why it's so important that they have fair districts. The reason why maps and how the lines are drawn matter is because the districts can be drawn in a way that um, disadvantage voters either because of their race or because of their party. Here's what the districts look like. District 1, it's been described as resembling an octopus, and District 12 has been described as looking serpentine. It's a distortion of our democracy to draw districts in a way that are unfair and that don't reflect the will of the voters. Even though our state is pretty evenly divided in terms of Democrat-Republican voters, they send a delegation to Congress that doesn't represent the political views of the people in the state. The lines were drawn, he said, to give Republicans the biggest possible benefit. A further criteria was partisan advantage. We believe that this map will produce an opportunity to elect 10 Republican members of Congress. An important gerrymandering case to update you on, the Supreme Court ruled with Clarence Thomas agreeing with liberal justices that race played too large of a role in creating these congressional districts in North Carolina. In my redistricting work, it's not whether a Democrat or Republican drew the plan, it's whether the plan is fair to all voters, and that's what matters. If you have unfair districts that make it impossible for the will of the voters to be expressed, then you're making the right to vote less meaningful and less powerful. It's not fair, and it's not what the state constitution contemplates or guarantees. My career has been about representing people whose rights have been violated and trying to obtain justice for them through the courts.